Canva for real estate agents. In this video, we are diving into the world of artificial intelligence on Canva, also known as Canva Magic. I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorite AI tools on the platform, but more importantly, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use these AI tools because if you implement and learn these skill sets and add them to your arsenal, you, my friend, are going to become a Canva wizard and so will be able to create consistent, effective, and creative content for your real estate business. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Hi friends, it's Larissa aka Lat with R E S S A. Well, welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is the place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters like yourself keep it real estate. But more importantly, I show you how to create effective content for your business. And as mentioned in the intro, we are diving into magic on Canva. So let me show you. So as always with these type of videos, I like to learn and do my research and do my homework before I introduce these sort of tools to you guys on my amazing, wonderful YouTube community. So as mentioned, we are going to be diving into 10 different AI tools on Canva. So I have categorized these 10 tools into three different categories, one being magic design, magic media, and magic visuals. So I'm just going to go through a quick dry run of this just to give you a, you know, an intro as to what to expect in this probably very long video. So again, magic design right over here. We have prompt to design presentations and videos. So the first thing we got here is magic design for graphics. So this is a great thing where you can put in a prompt and you can generate graphics. So things like Instagram posts, Facebook posts, presentations, things like that. Something that is quick and easy. You can also add in, as you can see here, the brand colors and a piece of media depending on what your prompt is. Next, we have magic design for video, which is fantastic. This is basically, you know, you giving Canva clips and pieces of footage and then depending on the prompt, as you see here, it can design and create this fun little reel. You can use it for Instagram reels, TikTok, YouTube videos, things like that, which is really fun. And then next over, we have again, another video as I mentioned. So you can use this for your product course, things like that. You give it some footage, you give it some pictures, and then put your prompt in, and then Canva will put on these on-screen text. It will add in music for you, it will add in transitions, and it's just a really cool way to use AI on Canva if you're not really tech savvy when it comes to editing. So this is a great tool to add into your arsenal, just like that. A quick little property tour and boom. And then that there is a logo, so depending on the brand kit that you're in, Canva will also then pull that logo from your brand kit and put it at the end of your videos. But I will show you that when we get there. Next up we have is Magic Media. So this is text to image. I'm sure many of you are aware of that. If you have seen the wave of AI content on YouTube and then we have text to video, which is new on the platform here. So text to image generator here is again, you put in a prompt, you can add in a style and add in an aspect ratio. This is a different uh, filter here. We used filmic filter. And the next over we have again is text to video generator. So again, depending on the prompt, it will generate you a video like this. This one is supposed to be at sunset. It came out like that. And then I wanted to test it for, you know, real estate, you know, a modern walk-in kitchen with high blues, high ceilings, blue cabinets, and white granite countertops. Again, this is still pretty much in beta, but as the more we use this, the more it is going to get better. Now, my favorite section of all of these tools is I call it magic visuals. So, you know, when you learn all this stuff, I mean, it rivals Photoshop. So I'm really excited about this section of the video here. So again, we can use this to erase things in images. So spot the difference. If you know what the difference is, drop it in the comments down below. Next up we have is, again, we have what is called Canva Magic Expand. So let's say we wanted to make this photo take up the entire space on this page here. We can use this tool, Magic Expand, and boom. Next page, it takes up the whole page. So all of this here is all AI generated right here. See that? Pretty good, I would say, yeah, pretty good. The next one we have here is Magic Wrap. So in this case, what I did was I separated the subject, which is the home from the background. I put in some gradients to make it look like sunset or dusk or whatever you want it to be. And then I put the price of the home behind. So this is great for, you know, using it as a YouTube thumbnail or just a post on social media. So this is called Canva Magic Grab. And then we went a little bit further. So in this 
in this case, I still use the same image. And instead of the yellow in the back, I put purple gradient. And then as you can see here, this is the same price, but we added, I used the effect or the AI tool called Canva Magic Morph to go from this more plain white text to something with a little bit more texture, make it more 3D. Again, totally up to you, but it's a cool and new tool that we have on Canva, which I'm really excited about as well. And then here we have is Canva Erase. This has been on the platform for quite some time as well, but I just wanted to show you this. So in this case, for this photo, I erased the tire marks on the pavement here. So you can see in this photo, you can see all of the tire marks on the driveway. I mean, use this with discretion. We're not trying to catfish people, but that's the premise of this tool is to erase things to make it look nice, okay? And next up we have is Canva Edit. I don't know if you guys saw what I did, but if you did, again, leave it in the comments down below, but I mean, the answer is right there, Poplar Tree. So I basically took this, this tree here that you can't really see, and I used the Magic Edit tool to replace that tree with a Poplar Tree. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? Again, use this with discretion because we're not trying to catfish people, but I just wanted to show you how you can use it. And so another part that we can use is for Canva Magic Edit. This was a silly little thing, but I had to create some kind of example. So let's say your photographer left their caramel macchiato on the table. Oh no, what you gonna do? It's not gonna look good in the photo. Well, you can use Magic Edit to use the prompt vase of white lilies. And there, right there. So you can go from caramel macchiato to a vase of flowers and that is pretty much <laughs> the entirety of this magic studio uh, which is housing all of these tools that i just showed you so the magic studio is new inside canva and we can find that on the whole page of canva so if you open up canva right here you'll see most of the tools are still listed at the top here and this is, these are all the AI tools that Canva has. Again, there's maybe upwards of 20 different tools, but I just you know, narrowed them down to 10 because I don't want to overwhelm you. But you can find all these tools again in the left-hand panel here under Magic Studio. You can see and read up on what each tool is and learn how to use them in your designs here. Now, first up, what we are going to start off with is the Magic presentations or magic design rather. So in this case, as I showed you in the first slide, we can use the AI on here to create graphics, presentations with whatever you want in mind. In this case, to do this, we can either just prompt it right here, use five words to describe your design. And this is where we can create our magic design. So I have my prompt on the left-hand side of my screen here. So I'm just going to find that so we can save some time now you can again use this for anything you want it's still i would say pretty much in beta but again the more that we use it the better that it is going to be so in this case i have a prompt here and there is i would say a character limit but in this case i have just inputted exactly what i wanted which is an instagram post for a real estate property and just giving it some information and data to see what it will do with those pieces of information as you can see here this is the whole prompt up here and then you're just going to give canva some time it's just going to create some designs for you like that like this and then you can also go a one step further and then add in a piece of media here. So let's go in and you can, you know, either drop a file and choose to upload it directly. Or in this case, you know, you can use a video, you can use a picture. So I'm just trying to see what I have here. What, what if I put this here? I don't know what that is. Let's just see results. And again, you could probably either use this just as a static graphic or you can put in a quick little video in there and see what it does. I don't remember if that was a video or a picture, but there you have it. It has put it inputted the photo that you have put there. Now, the only downside of this is that you can only have one image. You can't select multiple, unfortunately. Now, again, you can add in your brand kit if you have that already associated. Again, you will need Canva Pro to have a brand kit. Now, I should have prefaced this to begin with. Most of these AI tools are with Canva Pro. So if you have yet to try out Canva Pro, you can definitely scan this code right over here on the screen to get your 30-day free trial. But as I was saying, I am just going to, let's see, pull this brand kit here. 
see results. And then it's just going to, again, put those brand kit colors in as well as your preferred text. Not completely amazing from what I'm seeing, but definitely a step in a good direction for AI. Now, if you scroll down, you will see other templates from other Canva content creators here that you can definitely use. But as mentioned, this is just giving Canva a prompt to try something and then you taking your pieces of footage, data, and prompt and putting it into here. So do with this what you will. But again, if you do like something, let's say you like this one, you can just click on the three dots. You can customize this template or preview this. Let's just go click preview. And that's what it looks like. Now you notice here, it does have, you know, a video here, pause and unmute. I don't remember, as I mentioned, if this was a video or just a plain photo. I'm pretty sure it's just a plain photo. So that is how you use the magic media for, sorry, the magic design for this kind of prompt. So you can either put it up in here, your prompt up in here, or you can put your prompt in on the front homepage here. So let's go back to the homepage and instead of this, let's go ahead and create a presentation. Now you can use this for pretty much anything. Again, you want to give Canva a prompt. So let's do this. So I have this prompt here, presentation for steps of buying a home. So let's just do that and see what Canva gives us. Now again, it is still pulling the media here because we had that in our previous prompt but there you go you have a presentation this is seven if you have your mouse over here you can see that it will just continue to keep going like that let's see scroll down if we have anything more so it has generated us four different presentations now this is good just to give you kind of the the skin and bones of this but obviously you do want to go in there put in your own verbiage and put in your own content your own photos and just you know to start to create your presentation from here so it doesn't have to be completely from scratch and again if you scroll down here they are going to show you other presentation templates from other creators so do with that which you will you can go in here and change out again the different media again you can only have one photo and then change your brand kit styles but let's say if you did like any of these what we can do is to go in and again further edit them so let's just go with let's see here this one we can go into customize this template it's going to take us into the canva design window and from here you can go in change out the photo and add in your own photo that way just delete that or we can go in and change these colors from this color to another color in your brand kit change this to another color so it looks better that way put in your logo here and you can just again go in and add in more pages down here add a page and you can start to build this out now the nice thing about presentations is that there is a layouts tab in the design tab here so go to design and go into layouts and you can see different layouts that canva can suggest for you in terms of your content and you can go and build it like that again you can add in a photo and some text to help give canva some more information to help you with creating your templates now you can go do that or you can go into the template section here and you can actually you know search for real estate if you want and then you can actually pull pages from different templates so if you like this one we can click this open let's say you wanted to add randomly this page here and that could be your end screen or the end of your presentation and you can go in and again just edit the colors and the text and photos to your brand kit so that is magic media for presentations i think it's really helpful just again to get you started and going in the right direction so you don't have to build anything from scratch so let's get into the next subsection of the magic media which is going to be magic design for i keep saying different words I'm sorry guys, I may be confusing you. We are still in the magic design section, but we are doing magic design for videos instead. So let's go back into our home page here. And the, the way we can have Canva basically edit content for us is we have to choose our preferred video dimension. So we wanna to go to the home page, click on videos here, and then you can choose from any of the following you can make it you know a regular video which is your horizontal 1920 by 1080 or we can do a vertical video which is good for instagram reels tiktok the like so in this case let's go ahead and just use a 
vertical or sorry horizontal video so let's say we're doing something for youtube just a quick little property tour to get things going now you'll see here that once we've opened up a video doc type in the design tab it's showing us this here which is generate videos instantly so this is where you'll be able to access this ai tool so if we click on this what is going to happen is that essentially canva is asking us to compile upwards of 10 pieces of content so either photos or videos to then compile this into a quick little video so i'm just gonna pick this randomly let's do this this and you will need at least three pieces of content to then have this prompt window down here show up so i'm just going to kick keep on clicking so i think i have everything that i need so i have seven pieces of content and now this is where we want to put in our prompt here so let me make sure that i have my prompt ready to go so let's say here i have this on my other window here so in this case we want to create a virtual home tour for 123 apple avenue dino valley alberta so again this will also have a character limit so i think it's 100 character limits so again this is part of the pro features for canva but very worth it because let me show you right now let's hit generate and give it some time to put it together and again this is going to put together the Pretty much everything you have the captions on screen you have the transitions here you have music and within not even maybe 30 seconds it has it is just amazing okay so let's give this a play see what it looks like and it also adds in emojis And again, depending on the brand kit that you are currently in when you created this specific prompt, we'll pull the brand kit from your hub here. So I was in my YouTube thumbnails one. If I was in a different one, it would have probably pulled this logo here or this logo here for EXP or whatever. Again, depending on which brand kit that you are in. Now that's pretty good for just not even doing anything. But if you want to go in and just, you know, edit the text, you can. So if you didn't like this, you can choose a different text like that you know or you can do open sans and then whatever text that you choose what you can do as a simple way to make sure it is copied over to every other text you can use the the copy style too but in this case it's only using i would call this a title text for the front page here we can definitely just do that or you know manipulate it so it is in the middle like this. So it's not covering the house. You can make this sticker white, something like that. Again, you can pull it from your brand kit. If I switch to this kit here, we can do something like that. You can also change the effects of this. So instead of it has an outline here, you can remove that. Instead of do a lift, put it all the way up italicize this whatever you would like to do in this case for this kind of text it is i like that it has given the background so it's easy to read against the picture so again let's say you wanted to change this to a different font we'll go open sans bold again you can manipulate this where you want it to be kind of down here like that and if you like the look of that it's kind of text you can go to make sure you're selected on this text box here go up to the copy style tool here and let's paste it on to this box here actually we'll paste it onto this white box here so if i click on this it's going to automatically transfer over that text size font color whatever it is and the format of it so that's an easy way just to go through here and just edit edit it as you please you can also change the music as well can go into make sure if you don't have your audio here you might find it go into apps and just look for music here or it should be down here in one of these apps so again as mentioned you can go in and change out the audio so let's give this a play 
No, that's a keyboard. <laughs> Let's see here. So let's say you like that music instead of this one. We can just delete that and we can just pull this down here. And essentially what we can do is, you know, give this a play. And obviously it's not going to be synced to the different changes in scenes, but we can fix that. So let's just listen to what this sounds like. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust that. And then you'll see up here, once we're selected on this sound, once it's selected, it's going to be in that purple color. You can go up into here, which is called Beat Sync. So if you click on that and you just go to here, which is another AI tool, uh, you just go Sync Now. And basically, it's going to readjust the scenes on here with the music. So if we give it a play, we can just see what it looks like when it changes. So it's a little bit more in tune with the sound and the different changes of the scenes. Let's say we wanted this scene here to be a little bit longer instead of two seconds. I know this is like a 10 second clip. We can extend this a little bit more and then click on this music again and make sure we have beat sync on, sync again so it's properly synced. So if I give this a play, it should look a little bit better. Have this a little bit more. And so I don't know the extent of how long these these generated videos can be ideally i would use this just for short form content anything that's less than six seconds 60 seconds and so it's you know a quick piece of promotional material that you can put onto social media and even on youtube so we can also add a fade out at the end here just to make sure just so that it is Sounds a little bit better. So you want to go into audio effects. You can have a fade in and a fade out. I think that's just a nice thing to have. So it just sounds a little bit better when it's coming in and coming out. There you go. And then when you're happy and ready with that, all you have to do is go up to the share button up here, download this obviously as an MP4 video file, and then you're pretty much set to go. Now you can connect your social media accounts to Canva. So whether that is your YouTube channel or your Instagram, just so that in terms of here, you can see the, so you can avoid content ID claims when you do post this publicly to your accounts there. It's really easy to do. You just click on this connect social accounts and then you just basically log into that platform and then it will connect with Canva. So that in a nutshell is magic design for video. I think this is probably one of my favorite tools and I'm excited to see what more it can do. So I'm wondering that if we can, you know, insert talking head photos, will it be able to transcribe our verbal words and then have it as on-screen captions burned in to the video? So I'm hoping that Canva will bring that to the platform very shortly, so fingers crossed. All right, now moving on to Magic Media, which is our text to prompt, text to image, text to video kind of prompts. And this is really fun. So as mentioned, here are some of the images I've generated with Canva's AI image generator. And I've been Again, depending on the prompt, you can add in the filter and a different aspect ratio. And again, the new thing here is the text to video generator. Now to access these tools, all you really have to do is to go into any kind of doc type you want here. In this case, let's just go into a presentation just for ease. And what you will see here is if we scroll down, we should find either in the app section, text to image or text to media. So if we click on here, you'll see magic, it should be magic media. And it's going to open up this window here, which is images and videos, which is new, very much in the beta mode. But here we have images and essentially you can just put in whatever prompt you want. So in here, I'm just going to do this here. I'm going to also Use the same prompt I used in my previous examples on my slide deck here and to see if it does give us different photos. So in this case, a drone photo of the Golden Gate Bridge at sunset. So in this case, I'm choosing no style. And then I'm just going to go again with the aspect ratio of the square, which is one to one and go ahead and create your images and let's see what happens. All right, so it looks some of them look pretty similar, like this one looks pretty similar, that one looks pretty similar, but I got these are two new different photos generated, which look really interesting. 
So again, these don't have any filters on them, but if you wanted to add additional filters just to kind of give it a different look, a different feel, you can definitely go ahead and do that. We can go in and add, let's see here, if we go to see all, we can add in different kind of filters that they have. They have quite a bit more than they used to. Let's see here, ink print. Let's click on that. And then let's generate again to see what Canva gives us. All right, so pretty interesting. It has actually included drones in the image here. Not exactly what I had in mind, but there you go. You can create AI generated images that nobody else has. And of course, use this for your social media just to give it a little bit more interest or creativity to your content. Now, what I'm excited to show you is the video magic media text to video. Now this is again, very much in beta and I've tested this out. It only seems to really output four seconds of video footage, but still pretty good in my opinion. So again, just for the sake of ease, I'm going to use the same prompt as I did for the practice round I did off camera. And so again, a waterfront property with a boat ripping across the lake. So we're just going to hit generate uh, video. And on this case, you can't select an aspect ratio or add in additional um, filters, but I would say it's still pretty good. And this is powered by Runaway here in case you were curious. And it does take a little bit of time, but we'll just give it its moment. Okay, so it has given us this video here. So if I click on this, this is what it looks like. It looks, I would say in the beginning, it looks a lot more realistic and then it kind of gets more cartoony or animated, but this is what that looks like. I use the same prompt as I did um, when I did this first time. So again, it's going to essentially, even if you use the same prompt, it's going to give you a different output every time, which is great. And then again, you can give it a rating if you want. I might just give it like, a two or a three. Ideally, I would have liked to see more of the waterfront property in the background, but again, it may be because I had selected or chose two subjects, which is, you know, the waterfront property and the boat. So do with this what you will. This is really fun to play around with. Good to have. And just know that depending on your, if you're whether Canva Pro, uh, just know that you have, I think it says 45 credits every month, and then I'll tell you when your credits re fresh, which is really cool to know. So that is magic media in a nutshell. I hope you guys give it a try and let me know if you do in the comments down below. All right. So the last section we have here, which is probably my favorite is the magic visual suite. I call it magic visuals because I mean, by the end of this, I mean, who needs Photoshop? Not me no more. So with this, we are just going to go into that same presentation here. And again, in this case, I have just pulled a random property photo from the Canva photos library, and we are going to manipulate this. Okay. So let's say we are creating a YouTube thumbnail. So in this case, let's say we want to fill up this entire space. I mean, yes, you can go in here and like extend it and do that, but I mean, that's not fun. So we're not doing that. So what we are going to do is click on the image here and we're going to go up to edit photo. Click on that and you'll see the magic studio here and all of these fun, cool AI tools. So you will see here with this ladybug, the magic expand. This is a pro feature. So we click on this, we can choose the size. So we can, you know, freeform, or we can go whole page, or we can go one to one, 16 to nine, whatever the ratio you want to choose. In this case, just for the sake of ease, I chose the whole page to expand and let's just magic expand and let's see what happens. All right. So as you can see here on the left-hand side, it does spit out four different images, which is nice because sometimes not all of them look nice. I mean, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't really like that. So let's see if we click on the other ones, we have this one. It's all right. This one, this one, better. This one's actually really good. I think I actually really like this one. So you can, if you don't like any of this, you can also just go ahead and just generate new results, but I'm just going to click done. So there you have it. Magic expand. Now 
let's move on to this next AI tool. So I'm going to duplicate this and go to the next page. In this case, we're going to use a tool called Magic Grab. So again, select that image, go to Edit Photo Up Her, and then we are going to select here. This is called Magic Grab. This, I think this one might be my favorite tool. So we are going to gra select that, grab that, select that, and then let it do its thing. So essentially what it's trying to do, the AI is trying to locate the subject and then ideally separate that from the background. So let's see what it's going to do. All right, so it looked like it didn't do anything, but don't worry, let's go ahead and just click on here and see what it did. So essentially, it has basically removed everything but the sky, which is really cool and is actually exactly what I want. So that is perfect. Now, if you go to positions up here, click on that and go into layers, you will actually see that these two different layers. So again, adjust the house and everything and then essentially the sky in the background. So this is really fun to, you know, make it look a little bit more creative, make it look more amazing, if you will, more amazing. So what we can do is, in this case, I can go into elements, we can look up gradient circle and just add some different kind of hues in the background. So this one, we can just add in, if I just make this bigger, what I can do is put this here. Oop, oop. I'm gonna do that, duplicate. Put this kind of here. And then go back into positions. I'm just gonna select both of these and just put them behind house. So that doesn't look as natural, but I mean, you kind of get what I'm trying to, trying to do, right? Okay. So there we go. So it's kind of like a hue behind the house just like that. And then what we can do, which is probably my favorite part, is putting text behind the home. Again, this is a really popular look for YouTube thumbnails if you're doing property tours and you can do this on Canva. So you don't need to hire a person on Fiverr or you know, have a virtual assistant because you literally could do this yourself or teach your assistant how to do this. So we're gonna hit text here and I'm going to make this height and go ahead and just put in, you know, the price of the home. I'm just going to approximate this and we're just going to make it big like that. Now, I think in my practice example, I used a different font. I think I used Shirk, Shrek, Shrek hand. So you can use any kind of font you'd like. In this case, I'm going to hit the effects. I'm just going to give it a bit of a lift so there's a little bit more contrast between the sky and the yellow. So there's a little bit more dimension. And then what I'm going to do is go into positions and I'm just going to drag this behind the home, but keep it on top of the yellow hue. Now we can go in and just adjust this a little bit more if you like. We can go and curve this so it looks a little bit more natural, not like that, but just slightly, you know, so just slightly come in like that. So it looks like this. And so you have the text behind. So the, I think that looks really cool. Really, really cool. I don't know about you. If you like this, give it a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. All right. So that is the magic grab in a nutshell. Now, the next thing we can do is go another step further and manipulate this this piece of text behind um, a little bit more with Magic Morph. So I'm just going to bring that text to the front again so it is a little bit easier. Now what we are going to do is we need to search in the app section here for Magic Morph. Now I already have this already onto my, my apps here. It's down here, it's Magic Morph. It's like a green icon. And essentially you wanna make sure you're already selected on that element. And then you can use these different examples and see what Canva will do. Now you can do balloons, you can use this one here, Magic Jewels. I think what I did for my practice prompt was sparkly, sparkly, so I write diamonds. Now, I found that with these type of magic morphing per se, I think what it's kind of picky with the type of font that you use. Now, in my previous example, if we go and select over here, you can see that I'm using a different font here. And then in this case, I couldn't have a curve. I just had it to be straight 
just like that. And again, I use the Prompt Sparkly Diamond to just use that kind of texture and design in the back. But it's still giving, it still needs to load. It's gonna give us four different outputs, which is nice. So you can choose again what you like best, or you can also regenerate it based on um, the different prompt again. So just give it a moment, give it a second. And you see sometimes, again, this is a new AI tool, part of the platform. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it just doesn't. So you have this kind of look here, not bad, it's still pretty good. Or you have this one here, which is pretty much the same, but just a little bit different when it comes to this diamond here versus that diamond there whatever you'd like. Let's go back and let's see what happens if we click on this image again, but remove the effects. So no shadow, maybe no curve. And again, click on this image, find magic morph down here. And let's see if we click on balloons, will it do what we want it to do? So the, the prompt here is inflatable reflect reflective gold foil potty balloons, magic morph. And let's see what happens. What is it going to do? So again, you just want to play around with this. The more that we use it, the better this AI will become. Again, it's just new part of the Magic Studio that Canva has recently introduced um, two weeks ago as the recording of this video here. So there you go. We have a few different prompts. I don't know why this one has a purple. I don't know why that, that's there. But again, you can see some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. I mean, again, play around with this, but let's just keep the diamonds here. So I'm just gonna delete these ones here. And ideally, I wouldn't really like the white in between like that. I would like it to be clear, but you guys get the idea if I push this to the back, or again, you can go to positions and just drag it to the back. That's what it looks like. So do with this what you will. I wouldn't really necessarily go ham on this right away, but Again, play around with it, see what you like, try out different prompts and see what happens depending on, you know, the type of font that you choose and if you have additional effects before you use the Magic Morph tool. Now, next up, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go back to this design here and duplicate it. Now, the next tool that I really like to use is the Magic Erase. Now, this is, if you're familiar with Photoshop, this is basically the Magic Healing or Healing tool. So in this case, we can just erase the tire mark. So if we again select this image, which is the home here, and go to edit photo, we can go to the magic erase here, click on that, it's going to open up this panel here, and we can choose our brush size. And essentially, essentially, you know what to do, we're just going to brush on here, quite roughly. Oop. Let's see what happens. I actually accidentally touched the house. Will it will it do something weird? We don't know. We don't know. Give it a second. My internet's kind of slow. Right. Not bad. So it didn't touch anything on the house, which is good and ideal. So in this case, I'm just going to make my brush smaller so I can just to get these sections here. Now again, use this tool with discretion. We're not trying to catfish anybody, but we're just trying to make it look a little bit more presentable if we are putting these photos online for marketing and media. So there you go. And once you're happy with that, you can just click out of here, just go back and it should just immediately put those effects onto that photo. So it looks a lot better than this to this, you know? What do you think? Now again, the last tool I have for you is the magic edit. Now, again, in my example, I had literally photoshopped this, this tree here with a different tree. So for the sake of this, let's just do it again. I'm going to duplicate this page. I'm going to click on the image again. That's the house with it's at the forefront of the photo. We're going to go to edit photo and then we are going to do magic edit. And I'm telling you, use this with discretion. We're not trying to catfish nobody, but essentially let's just say we want to highlight this area that we want to magic edit, hit continue, and just give it the prompt. So in this case, we want to place with popular 
tree. Hit generate. And let's see what happens. Again, it's going to spit out four different results. And you choose the one that you like. If you don't like any of them, just go ahead and regenerate. So at this point, I don't like any of them. <laughs> I don't like any of them. It looks very daytime versus these other photos here. So maybe I should just cancel this and do this again one more time and not select so much of this background here. Let's go again to magic edit and let's just do that. So it's a little bit more precise and then hit continue place with pop or tree hit generate and let's see what happens but again use this tool with discretion this is just for fun just to show you how to use this tool um let's say in another example if you had you know a profile picture of you and you were wearing a black shirt and you wanted to make it a white shirt you could use it for that you could literally photoshop yourself so do with that what you will again i don't really like any of these popular trees but i mean let's just hit generate again uh, accidentally i think i did like one but i accidentally hit the generate again so like i said the more we use this the more that the ai tool will become better which is ultimately what we want so let's just for the sake of this hit this one this one's actually pretty good but i mean it's very very bright and green but that's okay we're gonna hit done you can see there it is is there but then you have that white which i don't like so again use this tool with discretion now before i let you go we can use this for another example this is probably not a good example to use magic edit on but if we go over here to this design here which is that caramel macchiato example we can use this which might be a better example than the tree so if you click on this image edit photo and go to magic edit we again just go ahead and just select this or uh, maybe i'm gonna re redo that so i don't select the counter just select just that and then we are going to hit continue and let's go ahead and add in the prompt here i'm just going to copy it from this page here and go ahead and hit generate and see what it's going to do again it's going to pop out four different ai photos of that specific prompt there and then you can select whatever you like or if you don't like any of them again go ahead and regenerate but there you go not as good as my other example but i mean pretty good there you go now it's not on the counter so this might be useful if you have something on the counter that shouldn't be there or let's say it's a toothbrush or a coffee mug or whatever you have that's not supposed to be there you can use that again use this tool with discretion because we are not trying to catfish people so that is it my friends for today's video on canva ai tools for my real estate brothers and sisters if you made it to the end of this video then you know what it is you know what to do yeah comment down below hashtag and crew so i know that you made it to the very end and that you my friend are a real one as always give this video a thumbs up and share it with your real estate besties and apparently this is what the youtube algorithm wants you to check out next so if you're ready get ready to click in three two one